So I'm here with Greg at VidCon. We're buddies from NAB and just over the years we've kind of run into each other. Yeah, definitely. But we were just talking about camera gear and Greg, you're using the Fuji X-H1 right now? Yeah, so I've actually been transitioning from using a 1DX Mark II because this camera has a lot of the features that I need. For one, it's got 120, 1080. Yep. It's not super great. There's a little bit of aliasing, but for the most part you can get away with it. Uh, the other great thing that I really like about this is it has all of your um, film emulations, yep. so I don't have to do like any color grading. Are you uh, using Eterna a lot, or do you? I've actually been sticking like... with Chroma, which I use for a lot okay. of my photography, yeah. just to yeah. sort of keep like a similar feel between all of like the, the content that I'm producing. Mm -hmm. But right out of camera, it gets like a great image. It has a decent uh, face tracking autofocus, yeah. um, so I can use it for vlogging and stuff like that. And um, rec recently, Fuji actually just did a whole new firmware update, and the autofocus is much better than when we reviewed it on this channel. It kind of was not reliable. It wasn't even as good as the X-T2. But... Definitely. Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm running right now, and it's, it's definitely more reliable. Um, I, when I first tested this out, I was a little unsure of, like, why you'd get this over the X-T2. Yeah. Um, but after playing around with it, like, it's, it's an amazing camera, and I, and I really enjoy using it. You get that 200 megabit per second. Are you recording yep, in that 4K. a lot? Yep, yeah, pretty much all the stuff, unless I'm doing 120, is all in that 4K 200 megabits per second. Um, That's awesome. And it's, yeah. How are you finding the IBIS performance, like the internal body image stabilization? Is it decent, like compared to GH5? What do you? I'd say GH5 is definitely better. Yeah. Um, it works. I, recently, I've been doing a lot of like either vlogging stuff, so it's not like sure super. Would you compare it to like a 6500 or like a, the old A7 line or something? Yeah, probably somewhere in there. Um, I actually do a lot of stuff with it off, just because I'm doing it locked down, so I don't need to have the stabilization yeah. on. Uh, it's comfortable to hold too. Like that grip is nice. <laughs> yeah, I, I really like the design build between this and then the GFX. It's basically like a camera yeah. that's in between those two models because yeah. it has the build and like the LCD screen stuff of the GFX, which is their medium format. Yeah. But it has the smaller form factor and the same smaller sensor. Thanks, Greg. Yeah, you're welcome. Appreciate it. <laughs>